Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is on looking sharp and uniform. So it's pretty basic and easy, but it can get a little bit of getting used to because you should be able to give about an hour, an hour and a half even, in the very beginning to ironing weekly. And this little amount of time, or maybe a large chunk of time for some of you, it really does build up the shine on your boots. It really does make it crisp on your uniform to the point where you don't need iron anymore. So, some of my tips are use starch. Okay, this is just Niagara brand, and I have several videos on how to iron. So, just get those creases in the right places. Ask your flight sergeants and flight staff where they go. They go behind the patch. I mean, once you get those down and know how to do sleeves up, and once you do sleeves up, make sure you do it crisp. Little things like ironing down your collar make a big difference. Measuring your insignia, those are the little things. And then shining your boots. You just got some kiwi, anything kiwi is good, a good brush. There's plenty of videos out there. I don't have one, but there's plenty of videos out there on shining your boots. So that's always a tip. Okay, so now if you move on to blues, garters, or shirt stays, or whatever they're called. Here's what they are, and you literally just put this side, and some of them are a little different, but this side onto your pants, and then the other side, either I have it so this goes around my foot, then some clip onto your socks, and they're really just stretchy and they pull your shirt down and make it look really good. And for females, there's also this princess cut option that goes over so you don't have to wear garters if you're interested in that. Okay, and then there's, you can get cardboard just like this. This is actually a wheat thins box, and you put it behind your ribbon. So here's my ribbons. So I put it behind my ribbon and I put the shirt in between, and that way it's not like they're not wobbling back and forth from the weight which is a really, really good thing. You should always have this on the, your nameplate and on your ribbons. Then I have a video on this, but if you are an officer, there's these little things called um, epaulet shapers and you can make those and just put them in there and then they make a big difference. It looks really, really good if you do. Um, females, hairspray, hair gel, hair glue, whatever works. You might just have to take a shower every time you get home from cap because it looks good. You can pass inspections. It's a little uncomfortable and crisp, but it looks really, really good. And my last and final tip is these toothpicks. And I'm just going to leave a link below to my military uniform hacks, but it tells you about how to put them in your collar. And if you do that, it makes your collar look really good and you don't even have to iron it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye!